Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about user acceptance testing in Agile or Scrum testing. I am dedicatedly focusing on Agile and Scrum testing in this video. How we are going to operate user acceptance testing in Agile and Scrum testing. Before proceeding further, if you have visited Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. So let's move on to understand so what is uh, user acceptance testing in Agile testing model. So let's understand before moving further what is user acceptance testing especially in agile project so user acceptance testing is nothing but it is a validation it is a validation in the agile project that meets the business requirements that is the main definition of a uit what is uit if i say it is a process to validate the agile project that meets the business requirements against business requirements we are going to validate just to see that whatever it has been defined as a requirements is really been implemented or not that is called as a uit in agile or a scrum testing that is a definition then let's move on to understand what is the difference between uit in waterfall model and uit in agile model so normally we are in waterfall model we do user acceptance testing once the system testing is done that is very late in the game if some issue which is going to find by the end user or the client then adopting those changes in the development phase is not very easy the cost of fixing those issues would be very costly affair in the waterfall model because it is done at the last agile projects uit is done almost like a sprint on sprint basis we are doing uit is also very rigorously we do uit testing we do uit testing very rigorously in agile projects that is a main advantage for uit being tested in agile so let's understand how we define the uit practices in agile projects so normally uit will be defined in the collecting the requirements itself that is in agile when the user story being defined when the user story being defined for every user story there will be a user acceptance criteria will be defined for every user story so that means the uit work is getting started in the beginning itself and these are all related to business requirement and it will be clearly defined in the acceptance criteria that is accepted by end users or clients so that whenever testing team they test the user story in a given sprint they will also need to validate user story acceptance criteria to sign off the the test cases because this is defined in a user acceptance criteria on the every user story tester has to validate tester has to validate in each sprint those user acceptance criteria whether those user acceptance criteria is really passing or not so that is the first step which we do in the uit here the tester itself they will they will validate the initial requirements for every user story that is the advantages in agile in agile uit is almost done in from the beginning itself then waiting in the last moment once this is done once the testers validate in each sprint the user acceptance criteria before signing off uh, the user story tester has to demo to po with the help of scrum master they will be giving a demo on each user story to product owners and other other relevant stakeholders in the scrum team at the end of each sprint to demonstrate 
whatever the user story is been created that really works or not for those user stories so in this way the product owners and stakeholders they give the feedback there and there itself for the given sprint user story so in this way so we are reducing the risk as much as possible in the beginning of the sprints itself so here in agile we are not going to wait till at the end of the release to get hold of uh, the feedback from the end users so we will also have a, the third type of uat sessions which will be done in two to three sprints in every two to three sprints there will be a testing will be done from end users or product management team just to ensure that they also give the feedback in the respective sprints so in this way we are reducing as much as possible risk associated with the uat testing being done in the last in waterfall model with this early feedback we are able to fix the issues as early as possible in the early part of the development cycle this way implementing the uat basically we have implemented the uat in agile or scrum testing in three ways one is during recurrent phase where we are giving for every user story user acceptance criteria that is one the second one is based on the user story acceptance criteria testers is going to test the product once the testing is conference to user acceptance criteria it will be the, they will be demoing to the product owners and other stakeholders and they will also get the feedback there and there itself regarding those user stories and user acceptance criteria that is the second way of uh, uh, tracking it and third way of tracking here is there will be a, every 2 to 3 sprints there will be a, testing will happen from the end users or product management that is also gives us additional lever to find more issues so that they can give the feedback to the development team as early as possible worst case within two sprints or three sprint we get the early feedback so that developer can take those issues or recommendations or feedbacks to the next sprint to implement those fixes i hope uh, you understood complete uh, uit in agile or scrum testing i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have visited testing shala for the first time then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills thanks for watching this video bye for now take care